Or you can call the Brightside Bend phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. For you guys in the Bay Area, I will be doing a talk next Friday, March the 7th, at the Vintage Faith Church in Santa Cruz, California. My favorite town, well, one of my favorite towns anyway, Santa Cruz, California. Uh, if you're in San Francisco or Napa or Monterey or anywhere in the Bay Area, please come down and check us out. Say hello. We're going to talk about hacking into the biosystem, hacking into the biological system for health, health and longevity. That's next Friday, March the 7th, Vintage Faith Church in Santa Cruz, California. Okay, so continuing on with uh, cholesterol, statin drugs, heart disease. I don't want to beat a dead horse. We've, we spent a lot of time talking about cholesterol, statin drugs a few months ago, and it's all in the archives. If you want to search benfuchsarchives.com, there's tons of information about cholesterol and statin drugs. But just in the interest of review, we're bombarded by these messages on commercials and billboards to our doctors about how important it is to lower your cholesterol. To this day, nobody's ever proven that lowering cholesterol has anything to do with heart attacks or preventing heart attacks. People with low cholesterol get heart attacks. People high cholesterol, get heart attacks. So what's the deal? What's the scoop here? If somebody's going to put you on a statin drug for the rest of your life in the name of lowering your cholesterol for your good health, don't you think we should really know something about what, a, what cholesterol really is? So here's the deal. Cholesterol is your best friend. Cholesterol is arguably... I don't even think it's arguable, but at least arguably, the most important chemical in the body. You've got no better biological friend in terms of your biochemicals anyway than cholesterol. It's a vitally important molecule. It's involved in the chemistry of building. Cholesterol equals building. Cholesterol equals building a body. We said all the time that aging and degenerative disease and breakdowns are all a manifestation of not enough building, of a deficit in building of poor building, and cholesterol is a main building molecule. Do we really want to poison cholesterol-making machinery? Cholesterol is a building molecule, considering that disease is the breakdown of the body. That alone tells you why poisoning cholesterol production chemistry is so dumb. The heart depends on cholesterol. Yes, our heart is largely a muscle, and it depends on cholesterol, as all muscles do. The heart needs cholesterol. The iconic toxicity, the, the hallmark sign of the toxicity of statin drugs, the hallmark sign, side effect of lowering cholesterol is muscle disease, and the heart is a powerful muscular organ. What else do you need to know about the stupidity of statin drugs? Why the heck would someone take a drug that selectively poisons muscle to improve the health or the functioning of an organ that's largely muscle? What else do you need to know about the stupidity of the medical model or the stupidity of any medical professional that thinks it's a good idea to dispense a statin drug and to leave their patient on it for the rest of their life? Cholesterol is far from being unhealthy for the heart. It's absolutely vital for the health of the heart. Cholesterol is the distinguishing molecule between animals and plants. It is the molecule of movement. It's the molecule of activity. It's the chief component of the animal nervous system. It controls the fluidity and the electrical energy across the outer covering of a cell. We're going to talk about cell membranes and the outer covering of a cell and how much work it does and how important it is for skin health. We'll talk about that here probably uh, on our next episode, our next Bright Side episode. But for now, just understand that the coating of a cell... The outside covering of a cell, the membrane of a cell, which in essence is a little computer chip, it's an information processing device, is largely made up of cholesterol. It largely depends on the electrical activity of cholesterol. Cholesterol is an electrically active molecule. Vitamin D, sex hormones like estrogen and testosterone and progesterone, strength hormones, repair hormones, growth hormones, stress hormones, these are all types of cholesterol. Did you know that testosterone and estrogen and progesterone and DHEA and vitamin D and cortisol, these are all types of cholesterol. When we say that all disease is cell disease, what we mean is that cells are not behaving correctly. They're not doing their job correctly. And one of the main jobs of a cell is to make things. It is the main job of a cell, to make things, to make stuff. Cells make proteins, cells make fats, Cells make sugars, and cells make cholesterol. They make lots of cholesterol. Obviously, when you have a chemical that is so important to the body, like cholesterol, a chemical that's involved in every single structure and function in the body under normal circumstances, under healthy circumstances, you're going to be making a lot of cholesterol. 
cells make cholesterol and cells make proteins and cells make their stuff in response to the environment, in response to the, the milieu, the ocean that they're sitting in or swimming in or floating in, whatever you want to call it. Cells sit inside a milieu or an environment and they determine how much protein or what kind of protein or how much and what kind of fats and how much cholesterol they make based on the signals they're getting from the, the, the ocean, the milieu, the environment that they're sitting in. There's little sockets that are studded all around the, cell, the top of the cell, the cell membrane, the coating of the cell. Little sockets, little openings, just like an electrical sockets. And when I talk about a membrane, just think of a candy coating. Think of an M&M and think of the candy coating on top of an M&M. That candy coating is a, is a metaphor for the membrane that coats a cell. Well, the candy coating membrane on top of a cell has little openings in it, thousands, hundreds of thousands of little openings. They're called sockets. Well, they're not called sockets. They're called receptors. But you could think of, a, just think of an electrical socket or think of a lock. And these little sockets that are openings or receptors that act like a locks have a special key that will open them. What we call keys that fit into these sockets are actually hormones. Keys are hormones and sockets are receptors. And this idea of keys and locks and sockets and receptors is really the, the, the underpinning of all of biology and biochemistry. Keys fit in locks, they open the locks, and reactions happen in a cell. That's how stuff gets made in the cell. A hormone sits in a socket, it initiates a chemical reaction inside a cell. One of the most important hormones that will activate chemistry inside a cell, maybe the most important hormone in the body, certainly one of the most most important hormone keys that will open up a lock that will initiate reactions inside the little critter called a cell is insulin. In fact, insulin is like a master key in the sense that when insulin sits in that socket, all kinds of different things happen in a cell. For one thing, insulin is going to communicate to a cell that food is on the way. And cells will open up their little molecular mouths, if you will, and they'll let the sugar in, and they'll let the fat in, and they'll let the amino acids in, they'll let the vitamins and other nutrients in as well. So insulin will sit in inside the little lock on top of the candy coating on top of the cell, and the cell will open up and allow protein, fats, and sugars, etc., vitamins and nutrients to get into the cell. That's pretty important. Another thing that happens when the insulin key opens up the lock on the cell membrane and the candy coating of the cell, another thing that insulin will stimulate is building and growing. Insulin is a building and growing substance. Insulin causes cells to upregulate. I love that word, upregulate all of its chemical reactions. Insulin is an upregulating uh, uh, key. It's an upregulating signal. It turns things on inside the cell. It revs up a cell. It allows nutrients to come into a cell, and then it revs up the machinery. What, is this, what has this got to do with cholesterol? A lot. Hang on. I'll tell you what I mean when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. Did you know that organic sulfur can cleanse and defend your body against the poisons we're exposed to each day? Organic sulfur crystals from sulfurdefense.com help by forcing oxygen and nutrition into your cells while eliminating heavy metals, contaminants, and damaging radiation. Defend yourself and family from toxic assault with one of the most critical and essential minerals available today. Order online at sulfurdefense.com. That's sulfurdefense.com. Or call 800-593-6273. Please pay attention, folks. AmericanSurvivalWholesale.com is a Christian, veteran-owned wholesale preparedness company. Our mission is to get the Word of God out to all those in need of a Bible and who cannot afford one. We also provide great-tasting freeze-dried food from only 50 cents per serving, GMO-free food, over 1,000 preparedness items. Plus, for a limited time, type in the word Genesis at checkout and get a free King James Bible with every purchase. That's AmericanSurvivalWholesale.com. We live in a complicated society. Stressful issues are always popping up. Have you ever been treated unfairly by someone? Have you ever been overcharged for a repair? Have you ever signed a contract or a document? Worried about identity theft? How many times have you been in those unique situations where you just wanted to call an attorney to find out if you're right or wrong or what your legal rights are? But every time you think about calling an attorney, what do you think about first? That's right. Who do you call and how much will it cost? Our friends at Legal Shield have found a solution. 
With a nationwide network of 6,900 attorneys who average over 19 years of experience, Legal Shields law firms take over 40,000 calls per week helping their members. For less than $20 per month, you can have access to Legal Shield on everything from the trivial to the traumatic. Let Legal Shield stand up for your rights at lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com. Or call 855-340-SAVE. 855-340-7283. Results will vary from case to case. In the U.S., one in every 50 homes will have a break-in this year. Burglars call it smash and grab. Police call it robbery. We call it avoidable. We are Fake TV, a simple electronic device that can fool even professional burglars. Fake TV easily plugs into any outlet and simulates the changing colors of a television. To a burglar, it looks like someone must be home watching TV, so they'll likely move on to an easier target. At only $29.95, Fake TV costs less than a month of most alarm monitoring plans and comes with free shipping. Order your Fake TV by calling 877-5-FAKE-TV or go to faketv.com. That's 877-532-5388 or faketv.com. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for under $30,000. You heard right. That's 5,000 square feet under $30,000. Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for 129000 You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. Lock in your price now. Take delivery in spring. 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy viruses products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. We are America's largest independently owned communications network, GCN. We're back on the bright side. 855-660-4261 is our number. We'll get your phone calls here in just a minute. I want to finish up my little rant here on statin drugs and cholesterol. So uh, cholesterol is... uh Cholesterol is arguably the most important chemical in the body. The question we need to ask is what happens, what goes wrong in the body that, that there should be so much excess cholesterol? Well, to understand why there's so much excess cholesterol, we've got to understand about insulin. Insulin's a hormone that makes everything happen in the cell. It's an upregulating hormone. Upregulation is one of my favorite words in all of biochemistry. It means making things happen, upregulate, as opposed to downregulate, which means shutting things down. Upregulation means increasing production of stuff out of a cell, making a cell work harder, increasing nutrients to a cell. And insulin is an upregulating hormone. It makes cells do things. It makes cells work. It makes cells make more stuff. This makes sense because insulin is, is uh, opening up the gates 
food is coming in, nutrients are coming into a cell. A cell's got all these nutrients now, and now it's got all this energy, all this, all the wherewithal to produce energy to make stuff. So insulin upregulates things. Now, co- considering the cholesterol is so important, it makes sense that when there's a lot of insulin around and insulin activity is high, the cell is going to be making lots of stuff. One of the things the cell is going to be making lots of is cholesterol. Yes. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing. If your thyroid hormone is in balance and your testosterone is in balance and you got a good diet and you're exercising and you're working hard and there's stuff to do with all the raw materials,